Hi, I'm Becca, and this is my husband, Gabe. That's me. Welcome to the podcast celebrating Jack Russell Terrier Dogs. And all the joys of companionship with canines of every kind. Each week, we'll explore all the heartfelt, humbling, and hilarious stories that only dog parents can truly relate to. We're Jack Russell Parents. Hey, puppy parents. Have you ever wondered why your pup fetches? It's so weird that they do that. And you know what Carson said to me when I asked him to fetch me that dog training pamphlet? What? Brochure. Uh, <laughs> uh bruh. <laughs> Head shake, face palm. What else? <laughs> <laughs> You're naming the emojis that are going through your brain. <laughs> Well, I'm going to fetch you all some furry factoids about why our dogs do this silly behavior. On WisconsinPetCare.com, certified dog trainer Caitlin Schutz explains that fetching is a natural canine behavior called prey carrying. This innate instinct has been passed down from the dog's closest relatives, wolves or coyotes, And Caitlin says, quote, after a hunt, sometimes the wolf will carry the prey back to the den to be consumed safely with the pack, essentially retrieving dinner for the family. Carson, our JRT, is a relentless fetcher, and he brings it back almost every time. (laughs) However, he doesn't always drop it every time. I guess he doesn't really want to share his dinner with us. Just show and tell. (laughs) Yeah. And something tells me if he brought a rodent in from outside, he wouldn't want to actually share that either. No, he's a little stingy with his prey. He hasn't quite grasped the concept of pack dinner time. Right. Except he's perfectly happy to have us retrieve and share our dinner. (laughs) I mean, he goes full pack mentality in those moments. He's like, hey, my door dash is here. Go pay for it. (laughs) Stop it. Another fun furry factoid is that canines are known to cache their meals, similar to the way squirrels hide their nuts. Why are you laughing so hard? Oh, so silly. I don't know. I please cut this out. <laughs> no. Nope. Anyway, so admittedly, I had to remind myself what the word cache meant. If I can be oh, perfectly yeah. honest. Clear right? the cash. Right. So a cash is a collection of items stored in a hidden or inaccessible place. Does that remind you of our little hoarder or what? Of course. Carson is forever collecting prey, as it were, and hiding it under the bed or under the couch in your office. Mm-hmm. And Caitlin adds, quote, canines carry their prey from hiding spot to hiding spot, then retrieving it later during times of hunger or famine. Carson does that, too. (laughs) (laughs) He plays fetch back and forth a couple times, and then he'll disappear under the bed, and then come back with a different toy. And then that one disappears, and we just keep going and going. Yeah, and, and sometimes he'll go stand outside my closed office door and even whine or lie down and just wait there until I let him in, only to dart under the couch to retrieve his hidden prey from the day before. Yeah. <laughs> it's so freaking funny. I just he remembers he stored it there for famine. Yeah. A toy famine, I guess. And sometimes we come home and it's night and he's whining at a door. I'm like, what is on the other side of that door? <laughs> oh, it's just the bear that is on the other side that he wanted to play with. It's just his teddy bear. You know, it's so neat to know that Carson's silly fetching and hiding behaviors are pure instincts of natural born hunters. Yep. He's just being the wild dog that he is. And Caitlin adds that not all dogs have a strong fetch instinct, and that's perfectly okay. They are all unique. I do you, boo. Oh, God. <laughs> but you can encourage your pup's natural inclination to fetch by engaging them in the activity more often. So when your doggy brings you a ball or a stuffed duck or the rodent they found under the deck, feel free to give it a toss. They will love you for it. Eleven-year-old Walter just may die of boredom during the most boring summer ever. While exploring an abandoned garden, Walter discovers a mystical elf world where all dead plants spring to life at his touch. The downtrodden elves think Walter is there to save them with his new life-giving powers. 
to defeat the wicked Ichabod von Schnathoff before he sucks everyone's joy dry with his never-ending list of rules. Walter will need to use his best power yet, his imagination. In a dying, oppressed world, one boy has the power to bring freedom and life. Walter Plume and the Dehydrated Imagination will take you and your middle grade reader on a thrilling journey while igniting the depths of your imagination. Boys the Book says, beautiful imagery leads to spectacular world building in this fantasy that will leave the young reader glued to the pages. Relatable characters add to the magic of the story with never a dull moment. Get your magical fingers on a copy of Walter Plume and the Dehydrated Imagination by Rebecca Lynn Morales, now at Amazon.com. Find out more at WalterPlume.com. Let Walter and his story awaken your beautiful and creative imagination. Did you enjoy this episode? Did you learn from the content? Or did you just have a good, relatable laugh? Well, now what? It's time to subscribe, follow, keep listening, and give a positive review on the Apple Podcast app. Then share the podcast with other puppy parents. This will allow us to connect you and your friends with fun, dog-loving content week after week. Until next time, this is Becca and Gabe, the Jack Russell parents. Say bye, Carson. We'd love to connect with you online at jackrusselparents.com or on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at JRT Podcasts. That's at JRT for Jack Russell Terrier Podcast. The Jack Russell Parents Podcast is produced by Earball Audio. Jack Russell Parents is brought to you in part by Super Chewer. From the makers of BarkBox, Super Chewer is a themed monthly delivery of toys and treats made especially for dogs who play harder and demand a challenge. Simply go to jackrusselparents.com and click the Super Chewer link to enjoy their great offers while also supporting our podcast. Mm-hmm.